Good morning. Good morning. It's now Monday. We thought we would start the vlog whilst we're out walking. We're trying to get into the habit of walking in the mornings to get ourselves going. To get you going. Get me going. <laughs> um, we're just discussing what our plan is for the day. I'm going to start my stock take on all of my listed stock. So that's my plan. Go through everything. Uh, reduce a load of stuff, try and clear some old stock, all of that fun stuff. What's your plan for the day? My plan is also stock taking and I'm going to try and get some new listings on as well. New listings? Yeah, I want to get some new fresh listings on. Happy days. So yeah, we're now, we're currently walking into town. We're going to check out a few little bits of sales, if there's much going on. Yeah. Uh, probably pop in a charity shop or two, and then go home and get to work. We're knackered, we've just come up a massive hill. We've been to town. Um, we didn't get much in the sales, if anything, did we? But yeah, no, we, didn't, we didn't get much in the sales, did we? No, it's raining. We got some stuff in the charity shops. And it's now, not that you can see, starting to rain. Yeah. Fun times. So now we're gonna go home, start inventory checking. Oh, rock and roll lifestyle, this is. Hi. Okay, back in the office. Um, I've just finished packaging what's going out of my stuff. Andrea's just doing hers. And I've started on this um, adjusting prices of our inventory or my inventory. And it's pretty dull, I'll be honest. Um, I'm currently going through uh, Good Till cancelled listings that I've had running for a long time. Most of it is the car parts. Here comes Andrea. Hello, what Hello. you got? I have um, things that I've packaged, oh, a mug that needs packaging. You want me to package that? Tinkerbell. Um, okay, what have you sold? Um, what do you want me to go through in it? Yeah. Well, I sold that really cool vintage dress I told you about. It's going to Kath Kidston. Um, the Kath Kidston? No, to somebody who works at Kath Kidston. Okay. Um, I sold, I'm trying to remember now, um, a denim dress. Um, I've only just packaged it up and I can't remember. Some clothes. Some clothes. Some clothes. We'll, we'll stick with that. Yeah. Okay, cool. And some shoes. I'll just package these. Yeah, and some vintage shoes in as an, well. In an Amazon box. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, what I was saying before was most of the, the Good Till Cancelled listings I'm going through are car parts. And some of it's been listed since we listed it back in... March last year uh, on Good Till Council because I have multi quantities. So, the way I figure it, if I go in and it's a multi quantity listing and it hasn't sold any, or maybe it's only sold one or two in all that time, I'm going to cancel it, um, go into it, tweak the title maybe, tweak the price, and then relist it as a fresh listing. So, that's what I'm currently doing. And then, loads and loads of other stuff that of my stock that's been listed, I've let it end and I haven't relisted really it. I'm gonna go through the whole lot and mark a load of stuff down. But it's just really dull. And I'm, I'm checking quantities as I go. So that's quite time consuming. But yeah, exciting. Hello. So at this end of the house, I am currently going through every one of my boxes one by one. Um, I'm looking through every item one by one and I'm either marking things down or I'm taking it off depending on how long it's been on there, how much interest it's had, etc, etc. Um, so it's quite tedious but I'm going through it methodically and by the end of it I should have gone through my entire inventory that's listed on eBay. That's basically what I'm doing, I'll show you. So I'm taking every one of these boxes out one by one. I'm currently on this one. Um, and then I'm taking out every item in that box and either revising it or taking it off. Um, this is currently what I've taken off and it will either go back to a boot sale or I'll charity it, but most likely we'll try to a boot sale first. So as you can see, the washing is back. <laughs> um, 
yeah I don't really have anywhere else to dry it so that's where it is um, still have all the boxes there from the hall in the background but Nick has lots of room in his office now he's been sorting so hopefully that will get moved today oh and talk of the devil here he is hello I'm not the devil <laughs> what no you're not but I was just saying that um, all those boxes could get moved oh yeah whatever today because <laughs> you, you've made some room now so I could get some room back in my office Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I'm Where going, are you off to? Doing the post? I'm going to the post office. Okie dokie. Have fun with your quotes. Yeah, thanks. And keeping me company this afternoon are Caroline and Phil with their new channel, Let's Go with the Johnsons. Okay, it's now quite a lot later. I've just finished going through a load of listings and I've cancelled or ended deleted got rid of a bunch of magic cards now these were on in little lots um, I listed hundreds and hundreds last year sold loads and loads and loads um, what was left which is all this stuff on here has been marked down to to a point where below that it's not worth messing about with um, so I've cancelled them all so anyway feels quite productive um, I've also cancelled a bunch of other stuff uh, which we're going to give to charity or take to the car boot sale and now I'm going to continue the laborious task of going through all my good till cancelled car parts. So this is probably the last um, bit I will vlog from today because all I'm going to do now is sit here and adjust listings. Hello tap flippers, it's now Tuesday. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. I have completely been through my entire inventory. Yeah, taken a load of old stock off and put a load of stuff right down. And yeah, I feel really good about that. We've had some sales from it instantly, which is fantastic. I'm just popping out this. Wow, it's heavier than I imagined. This is going to zip it. I've just cleared out a few bits of media and a few books. So that is going off to them. Um, you get a free label. It's very similar to Music Magpie uh, with Ziffit, but Ziffit tend to give slightly better prices, but they don't take as many items. They're a bit more fussy, but they do tend to give better prices. So there's about 15 pounds worth in there. It's just stuff I was getting rid of. And then uh, a viewer um, watched our Sunday live. Um, I, I don't know if she wants her name broadcast. Um, you know who you are if you're watching. Um, she messaged me to say she was really interested in the um, Watership Down book, the book that I shared that I thought was such a lovely item. Um, we agreed on a price for the Watership Down book and the little talking Disney characters. Um, so she has bought those. I'm gonna ship those out um, soon as well. So that's what that is. So I'm just going to pop out and drop this box off and then my task for the rest of the day, put that down, if we come down here, I have a load of stuff, all of this stuff in here is all to go on eBay. I'm going to do a huge photography session. Um, all of this media here as well as all stuff that is going on eBay, uh, either individually or in bundles. There's some cool stuff in here. This is really nice. Um, Wheeler Dealers box set, good money in that. There's a few nice um, bits of uh, vintage gaming. I had two of these. I think this one's incomplete, is that right? Yeah, this one doesn't have the manual. I sent a complete one up to Amazon. Uh, I thought I'd do the incomplete one on eBay. Action replay, that sort of stuff. Loads and loads and loads of it. So I'm gonna have a huge photography session. Get all of that ready to list, and then I can plow through. I've had a few things sent back from Amazon. These are little plug and plays. I've got a little red, can't really see. That's a Mega Drive controller. The red one, that's the blue one. They didn't sell over Christmas for whatever reason, so I've had them record. I'm gonna do those as a pair. 
on eBay is my plan now. Okay, right, we are now all ready to do the photography. I have cleared my photography bay. So I'm gonna do, there's a stack of um, puzzles and games here. All of this media, all of this media, uh, there's a bunch of books and more media, books and media, and more media and games over there. So I'm going to get the photography done for all of that, and I'm going to try and time lapse it. So I'm going to set you up somewhere over here, maybe something like that, and uh, yeah, get it all done. Just before we start the time lapse, I bought new bulbs um, for these lights. This light setup I bought a long time ago, but I was never really happy with the bulbs in it, so I invested in some new ones. Um, these are the old ones, and I'll drop a link below if you want to check out the bulbs that I bought. They were 20, 20 something pounds for the pair, but they are so much better. They give out white daylight light, and compared to the ones that came with them, they are, it's like night and day. So really happy with those. I'm gonna keep the old bulbs as spares. There's nothing wrong with them. They work, they're just not as good as these. So I'm gonna keep those in the boxes that the new ones came in. Okay, so that's all the puzzles done. That was mostly puzzles and a couple of games. Uh, I just wanted to say, I don't normally deal in puzzles much. I'm, and if I do, I only bother with sealed ones, generally these days, because they're more hassle than they're worth to count all the pieces. Um, but in that huge job lot we got, there was this stack of puzzles, so I have them. So I'm listing them. Right, so, a little bit later, I'm now going to try and get all of the media and books and everything that's left photographed. Oh, eBay message. Hold on. Oh, fantastic. I've just sold some Hunter Wellies for £55. I accepted an offer, a bit of a cheeky low offer, but I've had them for a while. And I want the sale, so yeah, happy days. And just like that, we are done. If only it actually takes that long to do. Um, you probably couldn't see half of the stuff because it was going past in a flash. There's some really good bits in there. There's some really bog standard bits in there that are hardly worth bothering with. But it's media, it's books. I really enjoy listing that stuff. It's super quick to do, easy to post, easy to package. So, you know, this is my comfort zone. This is what I love doing. Um, so 
even some of the stuff that's hardly worth it financially, it's, it's quick and easy to do. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, glad that's all done. Um, next task is to list it all, but I think that's gonna be tomorrow now. Good morning. Good morning. It's now Wednesday. Uh, we're on our morning walk. We've just been into town. And uh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna vlog today. I'm just gonna list uh, as much of that media as I can. What are your plans? Oh, extreme close up. Um, no, much of the same really. It's all party, party, party in my office. Okay. <laughs> Morning. Um, we're back from my walk now. I've defrosted a little bit and I'm just about to package up a couple of orders that I've sold. So I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to package. Um, I've been going through my entire inventory and marking everything down. Um, even if they're fairly new listings, I thought I'd mark them down a little bit, see if I can get some interest in them. Um, but the first thing I'm going to package are these shoes. Um, they've been on for a while, so I've marked them right down to five pounds um, plus post and they sold at that straight away so that's good they're out of the way got them shifted i bought them with um, an identical pair of purple ones uh, in the same size the purple ones sold straight away for a good price i think i sold them for 15 pounds but the black ones are just hung around for ages they didn't sell over the party season and i just want shot of them to be honest so um, they don't really owe me anything now so yeah, they've sold for five pounds plus post. Um, the next thing is a pair of new look jeans. They're all packaged up in my polythene bags. Um, that was 12 pounds plus post. I marked that down a little bit. I think they were on for 15, so I marked it down to 12. They sold straight away, which is good. And I'm really pleased with this sale. Um, this is a vintage um, 90s ski jacket and I had it on maybe I don't know I've sold it for 40 but I think I had it on initially for about 60 um, I incrementally marked it down a little bit and um, eventually just marked it down to 40 and it has sold straight away so pleased with that that's that's going out the door because it's quite bulky it takes up quite a lot of storage space um, but I'm still happy with 40 pounds um, I wouldn't have spent more than five pounds on it. I probably got it at a jumble sale and paid a pound for it. I don't know, I can't remember. It was a while ago now. Just wanted to talk to you about um, the polythene bags that I use and how I package things. Um, because there's been a little bit of debate. Obviously, um, there's a lot of talk about um, reducing our plastic use, um, reducing plastic bags, um, not using plastic as much, and that's um, been quite a conversation within the reselling community recently, um, and I completely agree. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that. Um, currently, I'm still using up um, a big batch of these that I, I bought a while ago. Um, I've still got a few to use, but I've been looking into different places that do biodegradable um, polythene bags, and there is a company called Polybags UK, um, and they do quite reasonably priced biodegradable plastic bags. Um, so as soon as I've um, used up all of these, um, I'm probably going to place an order with them. Um, it might be worth as well if you're looking into it, just have a, a shop around, um, Google it, um, see what other companies can offer. I'm going to do the same as well because there might be more on the market now. So I just received a really exciting package, which is this. In my effort to be more low impact and to be packaging free and um, to try different things this year and to make small changes, um, I decided to try a few of Lush's products um, that are packaging free, like solid shampoos, solid shower gels, um, face washes, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a haul, um, which I'll do as a separate video. I'm going to put it up on this channel. Um, so if you are not interested in a Lush haul, then um, move on past it. <laughs> because I'm just doing it for a bit of fun, really, because I love Lush. Thought I would do a haul just for anyone who might be interested in one. So um, if you're interested, have a look. Um, if you're not interested, just don't watch it. 
Right, I'm about to call it a day for today. Um, I have listed most of the media. This is the stack of media that's left. I haven't done any of the books. I haven't done any of the puzzles, but I have listed. I've been keeping track of the uh, value of the items as I list them. Although most of this had uh, postage included, apart from a few bits, I've just listed these. They had postage added on, for example. Um, but yeah, I've done how many? 42 listings, uh, total value of £636 today. So very happy with that. Um, I should get these finished off tomorrow and then start on the books and puzzles. Um, tomorrow, as usual, um, I look after my sister's twin girls when they come out of school. So I'll try and get a clip of that as well. But for today, that is it. Really happy with that. Happy Thursday, everyone. Um, I'm just sitting here doing some listing and um, wanted to show you this mug that I picked up the other day. Ta da! It's um, a Disneyland Paris exclusive and it looks like it's quite rare. Um, there are none currently listed. A couple have sold in the past and sold for quite good money. Um, so I've listed it for £20. Um, you never know. Got to try these things. And I've just listed this um, pot that you saw us pick up when we went to spend the day with Mel. Um, I've gone 15 on this, even though there's one listed currently for £12.50. Um, thought I'd give it a go. I've added the keyword boho and... Um, a couple of other sort of trendy keywords as well and hoping that that sort of picks up the sale um, rather than selling it on being vintage Silvac um, because I think you know it's very on trend isn't it so I don't know we'll see I've got I've photographed some other mugs which I'm listing as well um, so yeah I'm just gonna go and get on with that hey guys it's now Thursday this morning I went to the doctor's at 8.45 to have this done. Yeah, I had blood taken. That was fun. Um, yeah, yesterday turned out really good. We had a cracking day of sales, which included two of the media items that I was listing yesterday. Sold a DVD box set for 50 and a PS1 game for 20. And today has been a lot slower in sales, but we've already sold another two items that I listed yesterday. Uh, another PS1 game, a bit of a crappy one, sold for a fiver, and some Michael Palin um, travel DVDs. But yeah, it's just good to see it shifting. So yeah, very happy with that. Um, I'm gonna crack on listing the rest of that media and puzzles and books and stuff and get as much of that done as I can before I go to see the twins. Okay, right, I'm here with Iris and Erin. Do you want to say a quick hello? Hello. Is that it? Okay. Iris? Hello. Sorry, Erin. I got some snacks. <laughs> what you got in there? <laughs> raisins yeah. and, and an apple. Raisins and an apple. Have you got Me. The, you got the same? Yeah. Raisins nice. and an apple. Raisins <laughs> and an apple. Very healthy. Okay, so... Say bye. Bye, girl. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. So, mission move the boxes out of my office. I don't know that you're very impressed about this idea, are you? Um, yeah. Because it fills your office up again. <laughs> I'm following you, finding out where they're going. Well, it just means I now have less space in here. They weren't really in the way in there, were they? Well, they were, actually. But you need all this space, so you might as well fill it up again. Hooray, the last box is leaving. What are you going to do with all this space? Well, I do have plans for it, I, so I can actually move and work, and I can, you can dance. declutter this corner, so I can actually get to my boxes. And then I can use my table and take photographs and things. You can have a party in there now, look. Yeah, I know. Why you can need that space? have a disco. I you can rave. Right, we thought we'd just wrap the video up here. Yeah, it's Monday, so um, 
Don't give away our secrets. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have to because I'm wearing what I'm going to be wearing in next week's vlog, so, you know. Yeah, it's Monday <laughs> it's and Monday. I managed to delete the wrap-up we actually did of last week. Um, so we're having to do another one. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope it was entertaining. Um, yeah, I think we need to get better at this. Well, I need to get better at this vlogging thing. I need to remember to actually film stuff that's interesting and, you know. I don't know. Let us know what you thought of the video and, um, yeah, what was enjoyable, what was interesting. And, uh, yeah, we'll take from that what we will. <laughs> take from that what we will. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we appreciate you watching. If you've yes. made it this far, thank you very Indeed. much. And, um, yeah, hopefully next week's will be better. <laughs> I've no idea. It's just us doing what we do. That's all we can offer you, I'm afraid. It's not overly exciting. Yeah. But, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon.